our chief guest to pay floral tribute to Rani Lakshmi Bai. Now we will have our tra traditional officious flag unfurling ceremony as a tribute to our motherland by our honourable chief guest, Dr. G. K. Sir, please. Now I request everyone kindly have a seat please. Bharti Honi Par Kijiye Ghar मिलके मनाएंगे लोकतंत्र का पर्व नाचो गाओ खुशियां मनाओ हर घर पर तिरंगा लहराओ The Indian flag serves as a national treasure and adds to the beauty of the country hence every year on the occasion of Indian Republic Day this tricolor flag is unfurled on every government building. 
Our national flag has three colors and a ring in the center. All three colors of our national flag have some meanings. The top saffron color of the flag denotes strength and courage. The middle white color stands for truth and peace. The bottom green color indicates growth and prosperity. There is navy blue wheel in the center having 24 equal spoke that is Ashok Chakra. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all are doing well. The respected chief guests, invited guest faculty members, coaches and students. Today we all are gathered here to celebrate the occasion of Republic Day. Well, my first and foremost duty on behalf of the teaching staff, coaches, students, we welcome you all to our 26th January. We feel honored to have with us the Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency Dr. G. Kisorsa, Principal and Director of Sai LNCP. Sir, you hardly need any introduction. You have made all of us proud by your distinguished work in numerous capacity. You are one of the most celebrated dignitaries. We welcome you, sir. Now, I would like to welcome our academic in charge of Sai LNCP, Dr. Usanel to this program. Welcome you, ma'am. I also like to welcome Sir Radha Krishnan Nair, Chief Coach of Indian Athlete Team, to this program. Welcome you, sir. In our country, January 26, 1950 is being celebrated as a festival on January 26. On this day, India had its constitution. January 26 is considered Republic Day in India. In the memory of this day, the government has announced this day as an ethnic day. Republic means the supreme power of the people living in the country and the only people has the right to elect their representative as a political leader to lead the country in the right direction. Na masjid ko jante hain, na siwalo ko jante hain. Jo bhuke pet sote hain, wo sir niwalo ko jante hain. Mera yehi andaj jamaane ko kalta hai, ki mera chira hawa ki kilaaf ki jata hai. Main aman pasand hu. मेरे शहर में दम रहने दो लाल और हरे में मत बांटो मेरी छत पे तिरंगा रहने दो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अमृत फ्रॉम एम पी पीवीएस फॉर डिलीवरिंग द इंग्लिश स्पीच respected chief guest dr jk sir sir and other dignitaries teachers coaches athletes and all the trainees and students present here a warm good morning to all first of all i would like to wish you a very happy republic day it is an important day for all of the indians today when a few fellow indians talk about the fear of losing basic rights that the constitution has given us this day becomes more important Although we celebrate Republic Day as a national festival since our childhood, but we understand the value of our value of this day when we grow up. Republic Day is celebrated on 26 January every year. On this day in the year 1950, the Constitution of India has come to effect. Our Constitution gives us 
various rights and responsibilities. We live in a democratic country where people enjoy their fundamental rights. In our society, we have different caste, religion, and many other things that separate us. But in a broader picture, we all are Indians. India is a land that is a great example of unity in diversity. The beauty of our country is we have different languages and we also have conflicts and differences. But on national festival, we stand as a united force. In this year, 2022, we are celebrating the 73rd Republic Day of India. Republic Day has been a memorable day for all of us since our childhood. On this day, the President of India unfurls the national flag at the Rajpath, New Delhi. Various events are also organized in Rajpath. It's a day that makes us to think beyond the caste, creed, religion, state, language, and color. And we all feel the same emotion for loving our country. Once again, I convey my Republic Day greetings to all. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Now I would like to call Nikhil Raj from BPA first year for uh, in this speech. Superb. Adarniya Pradhana Jayapak, Savi Siksha Gan Sa Partiyo. अभिभावकों को मेरा नमस्कार मैं आप सभी का हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं मेरा नाम निखिल राज है हम सब जानते हैं हम सब आज यहां एक विशेष अवसर पर एकत्र हुए हैं आज के दिन को हम भारत के गणतंत्र दिवस के नाम से जानते हैं मैं आज के महान दिन पर आप सभी के भारत के गणतंत्र दिवस के बारे में कुछ विचार प्रस्तुत कर रहा हूं सबसे पहले मैं आप सभी लोगों को धन्यवाद देता हूं कि मुझे आप लोगों ने आपके सामने खड़े होकर बोलने का अवसर दिया तीन रंग का नहीं वस्त्र ये ध्वज देश की शान है हर भारत के दिलों का स्वाभिमान है यही गंगा यही है हिमालय यही हिंद की जान है और तीन रंगों में रंगा हुआ ये अपना हिंदुस्तान है देश भक्तों के त्याग तपस्या और बलिदान के अमर कहानी 26 जनवरी का यह पर्व समेटे हुए है उत्सर्ग और शौर्य का इतिहास भारत कोई भूमि पर पग पग में अंकित है सच ही कहा गया है लहू वतन के शहीदों का रंग लाया है उछल रहा जमाने में ना में आजादी 26 जनवरी हमारे देश के लिए बहुत खास दिन है गणतंत्र गणतंत्र का अर्थ जनता के द्वारा जनता के लिए शासन हमारे देश का संविधान 26 जनवरी 1950 को लागू हुआ था 26 जनवरी 1950 को हमारे देश भारत एक गणतंत्र देश बन गया था इस दिन को सबसे अच्छी बात यह है कि सभी जाति एवं वर्ग के लोग इसको एक साथ मिलकर मनाते हैं आप सभी को पता होगा कि गणतंत्र का मतलब क्या होता है अपने राज नीतिक नेताओं को चुनने का अधिकार देश में लोगों के ऊपर होता है भारत के महान स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों ने कड़ी मेहनत और संघर्ष करके ही भारत को पूर्ण स्वराज दिलाया उन्होंने हमारे लिए बहुत अच्छा किया है उसका ही नतीजा है कि आज हम अपने देश भारत में आराम से रह रहे हैं भारत देश के कुछ महान भारतीय स्वतंत्रता सेनानी नेताओं ने इन महान नेताओं का नाम आता है जैसे महात्मा गांधी भगत सिंह बाबू वीर कुंवर सिंह जयप्रकाश नारायण बैकंठ शुक्ला इन स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों ने हमारे देश को आजाद कराने के लिए अपनी जान भी न्यौछावर कर दी और उनके इन महान कामों के लिए आज भी उनका नाम भारत के इतिहास में दर्ज है ना ही सिर्फ लिखा बल्कि आज भी देश का बच्चा बच्चा उनको याद करता है और उनका उनकी तरफ बनना चाहता है लगातार कई वर्षों तक इन महान लोगों ने ब्रिटिश सरकार का सामना किया और हमारे वतन को उनकी गुलामी से आजाद कराया भारतवासी उनके इस बलिदान को कभी भूल नहीं सकते हैं उनके कारण आज हमें अपने देश में आजादी से सांस ले रहे हैं 
हमें अपने देश की गरीबी बेरोजगारी अशिक्षा ग्लोबल वार्मिंग असमानता आदि जैसे चीजों को अच्छी तरह समझना होगा और इनका हल निकालना होगा अंत में दुष्यंत कुमार जी की इन पंक्तियों से अपनी बात समाप्त करता हूं इस देश की कीमत हमने जब जब पहचानी हमारे देश का बच्चा बच्चा बना देश सेनानी जात पात और भाषा का बीज पनपने ना देंगे अभिन्न आधारों पर हिंदुस्तान को बटने ना देंगे एकता के सतरंगों से सजाएंगे संसार को गणतंत्र उपासक बन के उपहार देंगे सौराष्ट्र को धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत थैंक यू निकिल नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन आवर रिस्पेक्टेड चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर जी किशोर सर टू कम फॉरवर्ड एंड एनकरेज आस विथ योर मोटिवेटिंग स्पीच सर प्लीज a very good morning to all of you at the very outset i would like to wish each one of you heartiest greetings on the occasion of the 73th republic day this year's republic day is very special to all all of us the entire indians in very many aspects it is a year of uh, achievements we have a uh, lot of things to which we can be proud of especially in various arenas where we have india has reached the heights higher heights of glory also it is a day on which we which uh, it has to remember with the gratitude the great warriors who fought for and liberated the country to this great republic the largest democracy and one of the most vibrant constitution which has been enacted on this day 73 years back the indian the constitution of india which is unique as uh, the guiding principles of democracy justice liberty equality and fraternity which are, uh, are the most the crucial and very fundamentals of this democracy which makes it vibrant the day on which the baba sahib ambedkar the constitution was enacted and it has been uh, the first constitution came in and the republic of india was formed that, and it is a day on which each indians can be proud of where we could say that we have given the world we have shown the world that you know we are the we are on the top it is a day which we should remember the great patriots the freedom fighters the martyrs who laid down their lives starting from mahatma gandhi father of nation pandit jawaharlal nehru bab uh, bhagat singh mr rani lakshmi bai of jhansi sardar vallabh bhai patel and so on. there are many who are known and unknown who on con who contributed to make liberate the country and bring it to independence and then to and also to make it the largest democracy while speaking on this occasion i think this year is special being the national institute of physical education we should also ponder into the achievements which we have made in the field of sports this year we can be proud of because india has done exceedingly well in the tokyo olympics 2021 this was the olympics in which we have brought the landmark achievement and it was the greatest ever since the ever since we started participating in the olympic games and we have here amidst us itself uh, many of the eminent athletes who are present here today led by the national coach sri Jadavishan Nair, who himself is a Dronacharya Vardy. I think it's a, it would be appropriate to just mention about this, some of the most uh, the athletes who brought laurels, apart from the men and women hockey team. Mr. Neeraj Chopra, who the first 
track and field athlete who won gold medal in India Inter Olympics, Sai from Mirabai Chanu, Ravi Kumar Bhaiya, Lavlina Bhaudwain, PV Sindhu, Bajran Kuhiya and so on. We should not also forget the Paralympic win winners of uh, Avani Lekra, Sunit Antil, Manish Narwal, Pramod Bhagat, Krishna Nagar, Bhavani Bhavina Patil, Nishad Kumar, Yogesh Katunya, Dalindra Javed Jajariya, Maria Pen Tangabir, Praveen Kumar, Singraj Adhana, Suhas Lelik Nat Kray, Sundar Singh Gujar, Sharad Kumar, Manoj Sarkar, Harvinder Singh. We have also some of the other performers like Sunil Chetri. The Indian cap the captain became the second joint highest international board sc scorer among the active players. Also, Rohit Sharma in cricket, the hitman, and the stock rising into 2021. He is already limited hours captain and was India's leading scorer in T T21s. So it was a near of achievement in Paralympics as well as Olympics in many other, despite all the challenges, all the adversaries, we have done exceedingly well and we are on a transition mode. And we have a mixture of the leading athletes, uh, many of them who are be honored here. And uh, we have Mr. Radhakrishnan Nair, they are the chief national coach, the Ranachari Awardi, and also uh, uh, we have our foreign coaches and other national coaches who are su supporting us and uh, helping us. And we are sure that the next year is going to be very crucial. We have the Commonwealth Games and Asian Games approaching us very fast. And I think uh, our athletes will do further better and they will be able to win and they will be able to uh, come up higher uh, higher levels of excellence in the forthcoming competitions this is a year we should not forget that here we face a lot of challenges even now we are facing the the covid 19 which has spread its tentacles throughout the world and also it has crippled and the institution was so far doing very well, it has an impact on our institution too. But we are facing it bravely, and I'm sure that we will all be able to jointly tackle it and overcome this crisis and uh, see that uh, we will be able to proceed further. And also bring the institution we are also quite proud of because we could, could do quite a lot in the last uh, academic year, the coming last one year. We had the landmark achievement of conducting the e Shala online uh, community coaching and physical education programs, which were acknowledged worldwide. And we became member of many international org organizations like ICSPE, International Comparative Society for Physical Education and Sports. And many others, they acknowledged us by having, giving us the honor of conducting the Daniel Conference, international conference, hosted by us, which was inaugurated by our Union Minister, Sri Anurag Singh Thakurji. So also we are uh, expected to have many more such conference in the future. And I was given to understand reliably that I would like and announce here today that the uh, Physical Education Foundation of India, one of the premier most uh, uh, organizations in the field of physical education, they have uh, declared that uh, Sports Authority of India, LNCP, as one of the best institutions for the current academic year. So we are expected to get the formal communication that way we have a lot of made a lot of headway and we have contributed. I acknowledge the contribution made by each of my colleagues, all my faculty members, colleagues, coaches, staff members, officers uh, who contributed to bringing it to success. And also we are very proud of that we have the Indian athletes with us, uh, the Indian athletic team, uh, by, you know, uh, with the national coach and the foreign coaches here with them. I'm sure that they, uh, though we have some issues and problems of uh, infrastructure as well as health problems, I am so sure that we'll be soon able to tide over it and get along uh, and also to come up uh, to the level of expectations in the forthcoming years. So, uh, it is, see, there are a lot of expectations on us. The, with the change in the scenario of uh, India emerging as uh, uh, with a large number of gold medals, and it should be always in the rising mode, it should not come down. So it is the responsibility of each, uh, the institutions like ours, the national institutions, physical education, to see that we uh, uh, contribute and do our best to see that this tempo is kept and uh, we keep emerging as one of the largest sporting nations of the world. 
while india is getting to its one of the largest economies in the world and uh, which uh, uh, it is necessary for the each sector also contribute towards that uh, it is reliably known that you know sports sport, uh, makes a formidable part in the uh, towards the contribution of economy to and uh, where india is at present at 0.05% of the economy of gdp contribution towards the economy we need to raise it from 0.5 to 5% you know only in that case we will be able to uh, come up uh, in uh, as the largest economy as well as in the field we need to develop our own infrastructure atmanagar uh, bharata uh, it helps we need to have entrepreneurs taking up sports where sports goods sports equipment sports infrastructure or we need to have indigenous productions made because with the to cope up with the growing demands we need to have a lot of changes uh, challenges which we are confronting due to the changes which are happening globally in various sectors we had in a recent past we have forwarded a document to gun daily also on uh, that as a contribution by the, what are the changes need to be taken with the changing trends happening worldwide so in another 20 years we need to see that there will be sea changes in each uh, uh, in the area of sports too that is in the way in which the competitions are organized the timing in which competitions are organized the amount of uh, budget which are being put uh, will be uh, earmarked for uh, the sports because of the various uh, the demands which are from raising from the other sectors uh, and also to the other factors of urbanization technology development and all this will have impact on sports and we are also switching over part with the changing mode you can see that we are on online and we are into net and the technology trends also we are trying to follow very very carefully so uh, i once again appeal all my dear colleagues all my faculty members coaches scientists officers staff officials athletes students to uh, understand themselves about this uh, changing trends the role which they have to play in this uh, changing situation the challenging situation and try to contribute the best and raise to their level of expectations so that we can take the institution take the country towards where it is uh, destined to that is to the one of the top sporting nations of the world i once again uh, congratulate uh, appreciate the effort made by the organizers in making a, a very uh, excellent arrangements for this republic day function and uh, let us collectively pay tributes to the great martyrs in all this occasion uh who led, who brought india to the uh, to independence and to uh and what we are now today is uh, due to the sacrifices let us remember and let us pledge ourselves towards bringing india towards a uh, large sporting nation so that is what we can do as a, a tribute to this martyrs it should be a befitting tribute in the everlasting memory of the martyrs and also to the expectations of the entire country i thank once again each one of you and uh, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you, sir, for sharing your precious thought to the audience, and I am sure that they enjoy listening to to your words. Now, I would like to call to our chief guest to felicitate Dronacharya Awadi, Radha Krishna Naya. He is the uh, chief coach of Indian athletic team. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for making us proud. Now, our dear guest and beloved staff is going to retire from official life. With all love and respect, I would like to invite. For this first, I would like to invite Dr. Vishal Singh. She is the associate professor of Sai Alam City, and she is going to retire 30 June 2022. Thank you, sir.
now i would like to call sri victor leo fernandez he is the athletic coach ncoe trivendram and he is going to retire 31st january 2022 now i would like to call sri selva rajan as he is the mess cleaner sai lncp and he is going to retire 31st may 2022 next i would like to call sri azil tk deo ncoe trivendram and he is going to retire 30 june 2022 now i would like to call sri abdul khader bearer stc chennai he is going to retire 30 june 2022 Congratulations on your standout tenure and best wishes for your retirement. May your retirement life be the best part of your life. To honor the great sports person, I request to our chief guest, Dr. Jeet Sosa, to present the appreciation. For this first, I would like to call Olympian Arukia Raji. He is Arjuna Wadi. He participated in Rio Olympic 2016 and Tokyo 2020. Asian Games medalist in 2014 and 2018. Participated in Commonwealth Games 2014 and 2018. Participated in IAAF World Relay held in Yokohama 2019. and he is also asian record holder in 4400 men's relay next i would like to call mohammad anas yahya he is arjuna awardee participated in rio olympic 2016 and tokyo 2020 asian games silver medalist 2018 held in jakarta participated in commonwealth games 2018 participated in iaaf world relay held in yokohama 2019 participated in iaaf world championship 2017 and 2019 asian record holder in 400 men's relay national record holder in 200 meter 400 meter 400 men's relay and 400 mixed relay next i would like to call hima das she is arjuna awardee iaaf world junior champion in 400 meter 2018 asian games gold medalist in 2018 held in jakarta participated in commonwealth games 2018 participated in asian athletic championship 2019 doha participated in iaaf world relay held in yokohama 2019 and she is also national record holder in 400 meter and 4 into 400 mixed relay next i would like to call olympian 
Ayasmi Dharun participated in Rio Olympic 2016. Asian Games silver medalist 2018 held in Jakarta. Participated in Commonwealth Games 2018. Participated in IAAF World Championship 2019. National record holder in 400 MH. Next, I would, I would like to call Olympian Narnathan Pandi. Participated in Tokyo 2020 Olympic National Medalist in 400 meters. Next, I would like to call Olympian Subha Venkatesan. Participated in Tokyo 2020 Olympic. Participated in IAAF World Championship 2019 held at Doha. Junior International Medalist. Next, I would like to call Olympian Dhan Lakshmi S. Participated in Tokyo 2020 Olympic National Gold Medalist in 100 meter and 200 meter. Next, I would like to call Kapil. He is bronze medalist in Junior World Championship 2021, Narboi, Kenya. Congrats on your achievements and wish you many congrats for your future sports. Always have faith in you and have common courage to meet any challenge because fear way. Congratulations. To honor the great coaches, again I would like to request our chief guest Dr. G. Sosa to present the appreciation. For this, first I would like to call Galina P. Bukharina, Head Coach, Team 400. Next, I would like to call Basan Singh, coach 400 meter. Next, I would like to call Rajmohan MK, coach 400 meter. Next, I would like to call Nagesh P, coach 400 meter. Congrats on your achievement and wish you many congrats for your future. Next, I would like to call Ruchika Bhave from Maharashtra. She received coaching under Lala Bilare. And her achievement, she is Senior National Gold Medalist, South Asian Games Gold Medalist held in Nepal. Next, I, I would like to call Savita Ram, Ramchire of Sasastra Sima Bal, Second India Open International Grade 1 Taekwondo Championship, she got gold medal, which was held in Hyderabad.
श्रेया जादव महाराष्ट्र का ईरान इंटरनेशनल ग्रेड वन ताइकोवंडो चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सी गॉड ब्रॉन्ज मेडल विच वॉज हेल्ड इन तेहरान मोजीरा इंटरनेशनल ग्रेड वन ताइकोवंडो चैंपियनशिप ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ब्रॉन्ज मेडलिस्ट नेक्स्ट साक्षी जादव ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सी इज नेशनल स्कूल गेम सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट विच वॉज हेल्ड इन गुवाहाटी आसाम मोजीरा कप इंटरनेशनल ग्रेड वन ताइकोवंडो चैंपियनशिप ब्रॉन्ज मेडलिस्ट नेक्स्ट टोंगबारम राजियाली देवी ऑफ केरला नाउ वर्किंग एज एल डी सी इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लेबर केरला स्टेट एंड एन सी ओ एथलेट एथलीट इन त्रिवेंद्रम नेशनल सीनियर ताइकोवंडो चैंपियनशिप हेल्ड इन मध्य प्रदेश सी गॉड गोल्ड मेडल नेक्स्ट हिमांशी अंटिल ऑफ दिल्ली सीनियर नेशनल चैंपियनशिप सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट विच वॉज हेल्ड इन जबलपुर मध्य प्रदेश थर्टी फर्स्ट वर्ष ओपन इंटरनेशनल चैंपियनशिप सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट विच वॉज नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल सोरंग यूनी सी इज परसुइंग एम पी ई एस फ्रॉम साई एल एनसीपी सी गॉड ब्रॉन्ज मेडल इन एशिया कप स्टेज वन रैंकिंग टूर्नामेंट विच वॉज हेल्ड इन बैंकॉक टू ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन सी गॉड ब्रॉन्ज मेडल इन एशियन ग्रांड प्रिक हेल्ड इन मंगोलिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थर्टीन गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट इन थर्टी फर्स्ट नेशनल गेम ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन विच वॉज हेल्ड इन केरला Next, I would like to call Priscilla Daniel from Athletics. She got gold medal in Under 23 National Championship 2021. Next, I would like to call Bharat as. From athletics, he got bronze medal in Junior World Championship, which was held in Kenya, 2021. Next, I would like to call Gokul K from athletics. He got bronze medal in National Open Athletics Senior Meet 2021. Next, I would I would like to call Jini from volleyball. She got gold medal in Senior National, which was held in Bhubaneswar 2021. Next, I would like to call Surya from volleyball. She got gold medal in senior national, which was held in Bhubaneswar 2021. Next, I would like to call Anju Balakrishnan from volleyball. She got gold medal in senior national, which was held in Bhubaneswar 2021. Next, I would like to call Shruti from volleyball. She got gold medal in senior national, which was held in Bhubaneswar 2021. Next, I would like to call Anushree from volleyball. She got gold medal in senior national, which was held in Bhubaneswar 
Next, I would like to call Maya from volleyball. She got gold medal in senior national, which was held in 2021. Goodness, sir. Next, I would like to call Avasti from volleyball. She got gold medal. In senior national, which was held in Bhubaneswar, 2021. Now, next, I would like to call Saranand C S, Associate Professor of Sai N C T. Thank you, sir. I would like to call Dr. Sanjay Pradhan, Prajapati Sir, from Bodh Gaya. Thank you. First and foremost. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our chief guest, Dr. G. Kishu sir, for sparing his time with us, even in hard time. So thank you so much, sir. Next, I would like to extend my thanks to Radha Krishnan, my sir, who is still very busy in his work and he has spent time with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And also, I would like to extend my thanks to Dr. Usha Nair, my academic in charge. Thank you, ma'am. And I would like to extend my sincere thanks to all the coaches, faculty members, and national athletes, NCO athletes, students. Thank you, thank you so much. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the staff who is directly or indirectly involved with this program, who helped to conduct this program properly and successfully. So thank you each and every one. Who is directly or indirectly related to this program? Thank you, thank you, Ishwar. Thank you, sir. जमाने भर में मिलते हैं आशिक कई, मगर वतन से खूबसूरत कोई सोनम नहीं होता। नोटों में भी लिपट कर, सोने में सिमट कर मरे हैं कई, मगर तिरंगे से खूबसूरत कोई कफन नहीं होता। Happy Republic Day. The function is over. So I would like to request you all to have a seat. Once again, I wish you a very happy Republic Day. And take your leave with a contented heart for this memorable celebration. Thank you all.